Hi everybody, today I'm going to be doing another product review and I've decided to call my whole product review series. I've done like, I think almost 70 product reviews on this channel, so I'd love to do them. But I think I want to have like a cutesy name and I was thinking I would do love, like, or loathe. Because I love an alliteration, who doesn't? So, either I love something, highly recommend it, I loathe it, I'm like, nah girl, or I like it, it's okay. I, you know, I, I just kind of like it. In today's video, as you can tell from the title, I am reviewing the YSL Touche Clot Blur Primer. This is like a $55 primer. I did not pay $55 for it. I got this little bitty sample, which is actually, um, from what I believe, it's an ounce is on... <sighs> That doesn't make any sense. A full size is an ounce, and this primer, which I got with a coupon code at Sephora, you know, you can put in a code. Um, or they also have it as a 100 point perk sometimes, and it's this size, I'm assuming. I'm pretty sure. And this is a third of an ounce. So you can get a lot of like value. Like this is like a $20 almost sample for free. So if you are interested in this, do that. Um, and I've been using this a lot this month, as you can tell. So there's a teensy weensy bit left, but pretty much it's a clear gel and it's got some gold glitter in it. Now, I don't know if they're trying to tell you that that's actually Flexigold, but even if it is, it looks like gold glitter. So it's got this kind of strange brush. It's got a really wide opening and then it's got a paddle. So what I do is I literally just paddle it onto my face. Um, and I like it. That's where we're, 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 we're keeping it in the light category. It's a very thick primer, but it doesn't feel heavy. But when you put it on, I mean, it smooths. It's very silicone-y. I don't know if it actually has silicone in it, but it feels like straight up silicone and you're just like. <sighs> um, I have heard people say that it's great if you put it over your dry patches to put foundation over. I have not found that. And I do have dry patches, not like super dry. I consider myself normal to tending dry skin type. Um, and I think that this is a nice primer, but I don't think it really smooths over your dry patches. I wish it did. If I could find a pot primer that literally just made my dry patches disappear, I would pay $60 for it. Um, the gold glitter, when you put it on, if you really look close, you can tell. Um, but I didn't really, I mean, like, it's under my foundation today. I don't think, like, let's get real close. Let's examine. For sure, you cannot see the gold glitter on my face. So that's good because, I mean, it's not like it's an evenly distributed, like, nice kind of glowy thing. I don't really think the gold glitter adds anything at all. I think it just makes it look pretty in the bottle. Um, and the applicator is, it's not bad. However, as you can see, I am at the bottom. Maybe you can see. I'm at the bottom and I can't reach it anymore. So what I've done is I've been storing it upside down. It does move around in the bottle pretty nicely. It's not like it's stuck somewhere. It's not that thick. Um, but I've been storing it upside down. So that's how I'm going to get the last bit of it. But I feel like I would be really agitated with that with the big size. Because if this is a $60 primer and you can't get that last bit, which is probably worth like, you know, $7, which would be like the same price as like a NYX primer, I would be agitated. So that is something that I think it's like a new unique way of packaging. But I think they didn't think about making sure you can get all the product out, if that makes sense. Um, it's thick, but it's not bad. As far as making my foundation last longer, I haven't really noticed that. Um, I am using the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. I'm trying to use that up for my 17 and 17. It's a project pan I'm doing. I'll link the most latest update down below in case you're like interested in that. Um, but I did have that primer. I do wear that foundation, and for me... It lasts all day. Like, I can literally, like, put it on in the morning, go to school, go to research, um, take a nap, play with the dogs, eat a bunch, I don't know, hike a mountain. I don't hike mountains, but, you know, I could hike a mountain and I still have a perfect foundation. So, I do feel like um, this doesn't really help that. But I think, I don't know, I personally have not found a primer that really stuck my foundation on as well. Um, so, all in all, it's not a bad primer. Not by any means. I like it. Um, I like it enough to pretty much, I think I'm going to probably finish this sample this month. 
And if it was a more inexpensive one, then I would, I would say, you know, it's cool. Try it out. But the fact that this is $60, I can't recommend it for $60. $60 is a lot of money. Um, and again, it's pretty. It's nice. It's really smoothing. If you have a lot... But, I mean, like, I say it's really smoothing, but like I said, it doesn't cover my dry patch. I, I keep pointing here because it's where I have dry patches. It doesn't cover my dry patches great. So, I would like to say, if you have really bad texture, maybe it'll work. And maybe it will. But in my personal experience, I don't think it will. Um, if any of y'all have tried it, let us know. If you have oily skin, um, maybe. Also, it is a blurring primer, so I check. I have visible pores right in this vicinity, like pretty much everyone. And I do think it blurred it. I don't think it filled it. I don't think it made my skin look perfect. But it did blur it slightly, which was nice. However, I still prefer, prefer the much less expensive Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Base. This one, this size is like $15. I think the full size is $32. Um, I much prefer that one to this. Not much, but I do. And it's about half the price. So that's my overall thoughts. It's I like it. I don't love it. I don't loathe it. I like it. So I hope that was helpful for y'all. Let me know if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, comments. Always, I want to know what you want to see on this channel. Um, if y'all have tried this, let me know what you think. Um, if y'all had a different experience than me, let's talk about it. I'm not, I'm not trying to say, don't buy this, it sucks. I'm just saying, eh, eh, it's alright. I like it. So, that's all I have for y'all. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.